Hi everyone, it's Miss Allie from the Franklin Springboro Public Library, and today I am bringing you book talks. Book talks are just book recommendations. Not sure what to read? I will suggest a couple of books that I really, really like that I think you will like too. Today I am going to recommend two chapter books that I would recommend for kids in grades four through six, so around ages 10 to 12. Both of today's books can be checked out from the Franklin Springboro Public Library, and both of today's books are available as ebooks and audiobooks from the Ohio Digital Library. If you're not sure how to access the Ohio Digital Library, just stay tuned till the end of the video and I will tell you how you can check out books from that awesome resource. Okay, let's get started. The day I decided to steal a dog was the same day that my best friend, Luann Godfrey, found out that I lived in a car. That is the first line of the book, How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. How to Steal a Dog is a book about main character Georgina and her brother Toby, who are trying to navigate the sad circumstance of homelessness that they find themselves in. Their mother is working two jobs and trying to make ends meet, but she's not making much progress in getting them into a new home. So Georgina hatches a plan where she will steal a dog and then return it in order to get the reward money. Georgina makes a detailed plan for dog napping, but as most good stories go, the plan does not go very smoothly. Along the way, though, Georgina does meet some interesting characters and she has to wrestle with her conscience. That's that voice inside her head that tells her what is right and what is wrong. Readers will enjoy this story because the serious subject matter is handled realistically but it's also told in a really humorous way. It's a pretty quick read, has some great characters, and just has an awesome story that will pull you right in. What would you do if you were in Georgina's position? Again, the book is called How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. Have you ever tried to reinvent yourself? The book Lions and Liars by Kate Beasley is about a boy who tried to do just that. But ultimately, the story is about friendship and self-acceptance. And I have got to tell you, this book is funny. I found myself laughing out loud as I was reading about the three fifth grade friends, Frederick, Joel, and Raj. The main character, Frederick Frederickson, is trying to reinvent himself. Let me read you a passage. Frederick had always been okay with the fact that he was a loser because he believed that one day he would become the kind of person everybody wanted to hang out with. Like how the ugly duckling became a swan or how Harry Potter became a wizard. But then he had started fifth grade a week ago and he was still the same old Frederick and he'd begun to worry. What if he wasn't going to transform into his true, awesome self? What if there was some secret to it? Frederick didn't know what the secret was, but he couldn't just sit around waiting anymore. He had to help things along, and he decided that the best way to become cool was to beat Devin Goodyear, the coolest guy on earth. I really like this book because of all of the great characters, especially Frederick. He's realistic and relatable, the kind of kid that readers would want to have as a best friend. Again, the book is called Lions and Liars by Kate Beasley, and it also includes a lot of great illustrations by Dan Santat. Thank you so much for listening to my book recommendations today, and I'll be back next week with even more great books to tell you about. If you are interested in looking these books up on the Ohio Digital Library, let me tell you how to do that. First, just go to the library website, which is fspl.org. 
and then click where it says Digital Library. From there, you will scroll down until you see Ohio Digital Library. Just click on that. Now you will need to choose our library from the drop down list. So just look for Franklin Springboro Public Library. And then you will need to enter your library card number and your PIN. If you're not sure what those are, feel free to give us a, a call at the library and we'll help you out. Okay, friends. See you next time. Bye bye.